Hey, what's up, beauties? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl J. Elise, and I am back with another video. Now, as promised, I told you all I was going to give you all an updated video on how I make my labels. Because y'all, I make my labels for pretty much everything, and y'all know that pretty much it just gives it a professional look. They don't even look homemade, but yeah, we're gonna get all into that, y'all. But I, but I know I have a whole bunch of new subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am dropping business videos, vlogs all month long, y'all. But um. I do have some videos already making my labels. I have this video right here where I made my labels using the Cricut machine. And I also have my video right here where I had made all of my labels using Avery. Now for the most part, I still use Avery. So I'm just going ahead and give you all an updated video because I have been dropping videos, little reels on IG. So if you're not following me, follow me over at Just Rosie Cosmetics. But I've been dropping my reels and I've kind of been giving y'all, you know, a little 30 seconds of how I do this and how I do that. So for today in this video, I will be showing you all how I make my labels for my um, wholesale lip gloss. I did all of that, y'all. And I also will be showing you all how I make these labels here. Which I don't even really make these anymore because my lip glosses, they now come with the labels already. But I do it for like other things. It just really depends on what I'm doing. Like my lip oils. My eyebrow eyelash growth oils labels like all of those i still use that for and then also this here now this is pretty much the same exact label as the purple one but as you can see it i had to actually make it black and we'll get all into that so if you all are interested into seeing how i make my labels just keep on watching all right now i just need y'all to bear with me because my heat keep coming on and off of course because I am filming in the basement but in order to make your labels you would need your templates and I get all of my templates from Avery you would need the round labels template now I didn't show you all but pretty much we're gonna make some labels to kind of go on this here because I know people be using these type of containers as well so we will be using this round label template here we will be using the rectangular labels don't y'all can see if it's clear or not. <laughs> Screenshot it, do whatever y'all gotta do, but I will link everything down below for you all. And then also my glossy clear. Now, glossy clear address labels, y'all. Right there. Do not get the matte. Do, do not get the matte, y'all, because it's just, it's just not a clean look at all. So, I am going to screen record for you all. I'm going to try to make it real short and sweet and straight to the point. Y'all know I'm very detailed and I can get straight to the point with you all. So, let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. Alright y'all, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to go to our internet. And we're going to go to Avery.com. If you do not have an account, just, you know sign in make an account it's easy okay now that i'm signed in you see you have projects you have files and you have orders and account settings i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to project but you know what i'm gonna start fresh i'm tripping y'all i'm doing this for y'all we're gonna start fresh so this is from the beginning and at the top i'm going to type in the search search bar the number of the label which is 6521 And then we're going to hit the template and just start designing. Now it's going to give you a bunch of different options. Like everything is pre-made for you. So if you were interested in using any of these designs, you are free to do any of this. You can just use what it says and just plug in your logo. Like you can do whatever you need to do. But what I do is I start, I go this way. It just really depends on the type of the tube you want and how you want your design to lay so I'm gonna go that way and we have a little blank little box here as you all can see so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my logo so we're gonna go over here to the left handed corner and we're gonna click on image and we're gonna click on add image and I am gonna browse on my computer I literally have everything in here and I'm going to look for that logo 
and I have several different ones so I'm hoping that this one is here and this is transparent if you all want a video on how I make everything transparent and how to just anything transparent just let me know I'll make that video for you so if this is the logo here and I'm just going to size it I think this size look really good Yep, that looks really good like that and y'all that is pretty much it so I'm going to print this out you're going to at the um, bottom right corner you're going to hit preview and print and this is pretty much if you want to print the entire thing out like this you can so you're going to um, top right and green where it says print it yourself I'm going to do that but for the sake of this video I'm not going to print all of these out because I don't need all of these so what you're going to do is especially you want to do custom selection because you do not want to print it over all of them especially if it does not come out right these are the templates that I put in and you find that number is right here at the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one sheet now this is where you want to pay attention for when you're doing, I'm not liking this y'all, hold on. Y'all see a little difference? Like that was just too yellow for me. Um, pay attention to your custom selections. Now me, I done basically printed out half of all of these as you all can see, but I still have a few left on here and that's what we're gonna play with. So let's see, I think. So what I have is one, one, two, three, four. I have one right here. So what I say, I said one, two, three, four. So the fourth one down the middle. So we got one, two, three. That's the fourth one. It's that one here. That's the only one I want to print. So I'm going to click all of these. Because I don't want to print all of these off. So the thing is keep it bold yellow if that's the area you want to print. So once I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit get pdf to print and of course you want to save all of your work and i'll just put it in as sample i guess save to my account you're just going to hit ok and you want to download it now this is how it's going to look all lonely like that <laughs> now pretty much all you're going to do from here is just you're going to print it and I'm going to show you how to lay it in your printer and everything. So we're going to hit file. We're going to hit print. I'm not using my Canon. I'm using my HP right now because my Canon doesn't have any ink. But y'all got to forgive me because like I said, I'm all over the place. And um, my printer's upstairs. I have not brought it back downstairs yet. So, so pretty much once how you put it in the printer. So I opened my printer. You all can see this is the front top and you just want to flip it around and put it in that way like so. And then you're just going to hit print and it's going to come right on out. And there it is y'all now before we go turn it off and everything I do want to make one more label which is the label for my um my lip oils so I'm gonna show you how to do that but there's one thing I want y'all to be careful about these things right here will rip mine is already splitting if it's a halfway split do not put it through your machine because it will get jammed and trust me it it's kind of hard getting it out so we're gonna go ahead and do the lip oils before we print that off y'all before we put it on our bottles okay so now what we're going to do we're just going to back out of it i'm just going to hit customize that's just to get back to the original thing and we're going to delete that out and we're going to start fresh now we're going to go back to image now all of these images i already have saved so that's what just what you do you just save your image and now I'm just basically looking for my black one. It is right here. And we're just going to upload that. 
Now this one, I don't think it's, um, let me see y'all. I don't wanna play with it too much, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put that to the side. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our additional wording to it. So we're gonna click top left, we're gonna click text, and then we're gonna click add a text box. And this is where I'm going to put my peppermint, lip oil oil oh yeah this is real funny when I be trying to highlight it all I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger it's about 12 and I am going to just line it right here and now we're gonna add one more text box and I'm actually gonna make that like seven and I'm gonna add ingredients. Almond oil. Grapeseed oil, like this is just ingredients. So whatever your ingredients is, you can, you're just gonna put that in, but you wanna like, if it's a whole lot of ingredients, I would advise just to leave it off because it's not gonna look right because the label is you know it's not that big. I'm gonna just put coconut oil. And I'll just put those for now. And then we're gonna move that right under there. And I actually wanna make that a, a little bit smaller. The smaller size you can get is a size six. So we're gonna go with that. And we're just gonna put that, bring it down some. Then we're gonna bring this down some. Then now we're gonna pull over the label now y'all see that's how I make it but as you can see it's a little too big I need to pull it down some more it's too close together right there all right and pretty much that's how you do it just make sure everything is kind of centered but that's my label right there y'all and we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did with the other label we're gonna print and preview and print we're gonna print it ourselves. Custom selection. And like I said, half of mine is already gone, so I'm pretty much gonna look on here and see which ones do I have left. And I have one, two, three, four, five, the sixth one down. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. It's that sixth one there. I'm gonna leave that yellow. And then we're gonna check every other box so it won't print off. You just do the same exact thing, print, save, keep it as a sample as well. Okay, I'm gonna download the PDF, and of course it's down here. Alrighty, and that one is right there. See, we got this one and we have this one. All right, y'all, now before we get to putting everything on the bottles and everything, I wanna get every label printed out, which we have two more. So y'all just bear with me. I don't wanna make the video too long, but also I don't wanna rush it. I wanna make sure that you guys understand it because it's, it's real easy and it's simple and plus it will save you a lot of money. So going back over here so we can start recording, but the labels that we are going to be using for the containers is um, the rectangular labels and it's the number 22822. So we're just gonna exit out of this exit out and I'm just gonna hit the top thing and no I don't have to save that y'all and we're back at the start of it and these are just all of my stuff y'all <laughs> um as you see the ones that I end up making the actual one that I did you see I actually made it bigger because it does look a little bit better but this is just you know samples only so the next one we're using is 22822. You wanna type it in the search field and hit enter. Once again, you wanna click on templates and just hit start designing. And like I said before, you have an option to use any of these y'all. When I say I've actually used, I've used this one before. Um, but they have so many different ones and as you can see on the left side 
you can actually narrow it down to like whatever it is type of business or occupation so let's say most everybody is in beauty so we got beauty and health I'm just gonna click that and then here are the options that you pretty much get but for me we're just gonna choose a blank one so I just went back and I'm going to like I said either way you want it you can get it vertical or you get it horizontal I'm going to hit select design And here it is here. Once again, I'm going to bring over my logo. Like I said, everything is saved in your computer already, y'all, or wherever you all have it saved at. I'm just going to click on that. I usually, like I said, I save that for last. We're going to click on text and add a text box. So we got pink champagne. It's about the size that I wanted. We're gonna drop it down about right here. Now, as far as your ingredients, this is where it gets kind of crazy because you have to literally type everything. So, or you can just copy and paste. So, say I'm, I'm giving y'all all the gems today. So we're going to go to TKB Trading, we're going to go to Lip Gloss Base. And basically here is the ingredients for the base. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it in there. Now of course, it's huge. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, we're going to bring this all the way down to six and it would and I don't know exactly where it all ends or where it begins that's six and then we got the jojoba oil I don't know why don't let me go all the way down y'all see look at this y'all see this <laughs> So before you paste, so to avoid all this, before you paste, just make sure <laughs> that you um just have your stuff highlighted. That way you won't have to go back and do this. So got everything together. I'm trying to see if I can pull my box back down, y'all. Yeah. There we go. Ugh, are you serious? Yeah. Avery is showing out because they know I'm doing a video today. Okay. Got that spread it all out. Let's see how that look, y'all. Drop it down. I don't know why it has this huge space right here. Hmm. I don't know why it has a huge space right there, y'all. But you pretty much just got to play with it. So what I'm going to do, I don't have time to play with it because I'm trying to show you all this video. So I'm just delete half of that. And we're just going to leave the ingredients as that there. Then we're going to do pink champagne. We're going to pull that down some, like right there. And now we're going to make our logo big. It's easy, but it's a lot of editing. Like, I don't understand why it does all this, but it works. Now, that blue line you see right down the middle. This just let you know that it's centered. So I think pretty much that's how everything is going to look. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to preview and print. 
Now, as far as these labels here, as you all can see, it does have like side by side like that. What is that? Eight of them on there. It's eight to a sheet. So this is how this one look. I mean, you really can't see nothing no way, but this is a new sheet. So no, it's not a new sheet. <laughs> Uh, so I have the one I want to print it myself and we're going to do custom selection Now the one that I have available is this bottom right one. So we're going to click the ones that I don't want it to print on Same thing we're going to get I'm just do sample Save to your account It's going to always say that y'all so save it And then we're going to download the PDF scroll down and that's how your label looks all right y'all and this is how that one turned out now I'm going to do one more for you all and that's the round one just in case maybe you don't want to put it right here you will want to put it on the top so we're gonna take care of that now this here is the Avery brown labels number 22807 like i said i will have everything linked down below okay we're gonna kind of click back out of that same thing click out and i'm just gonna hit that there and in a search bar we're going to and you see everything that i do it saves so we're gonna do the 22807 now this one here i'm gonna actually use one of their designs because i don't have I don't use these labels as of right now, but I was using them, so I'm just use one of their templates for now. You're gonna hit start designing. And as you can see, they have all of these beautiful labels for you, but I'm gonna go over here on this left side. And I'm going to click on beauty and health. Now you don't have to click on on this i'm just doing that but um like i said everything is pretty much here for you i think this one here is really nice so we're gonna click on that one and we're gonna start designing and i just kind of want to show you how this is done so i guess we're just going to put lavender Just, I see that's what the background is. I'm going to rearrange that. And for brand name, I'm just going to take that out because I want to put my logo on it. So we're going to add an image. Yeah, I know all of this is the same. Now, the image is there. And I'm, of course, I'm not going to make this one super big. Because <laughs> you still want it to look good. Like this is, now you see once this is over it, it's not gonna move that. So all of this right here, y'all, this is where you put the sides, you can put your ingredients there and all that other stuff. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually going to just put my label right there. Now they probably don't look good at all, which it really doesn't. <laughs> How about I just take this out really quick? the purpose of the video and I'll just put the label right there and you all see that it's how it's looking so I'm going to preview and print now I know it don't don't look good I don't need nobody trying to come for me this is just the purpose of the video I mean you can rearrange and do everything however you like it we're going to print custom selection of course we're gonna go in here and see what we're working with. And these here is really it's really thick, and you can see one of them is already missing, but that's how this one look here. <laughs> I had to. That's why it was thick. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna use the second one. We're gonna take all the rest of these off. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to print. 
and i hope you all are understanding this i hope i'm not moving too fast and there it is all right y'all and that's pretty much how that label turned out now now that we have all of our labels we are going to get to the fun part now the little small the circle one let's see which one do i want to put it on let's do this one so we'll put it on this here so this is pretty much body butters lip gloss base whatever you want to use to put in it basically you just take the label off make sure y'all can see whichever you know the front try to your best to center it y'all but i mean even the ones in the stores don't always be quite centered yeah look how good this looks let me get it back up for the lighting y'all there we go look how good this professional professional y'all okay now since we already have this container here we're gonna go ahead and put this label on here and this was the rectangle the rectangle level um i mean label now y'all for these here y'all see how i pick it up you don't want to put your hands on all of it because for one i didn't wash my hands uh you want to make sure you wash your hands to get all the oils off because it, it affects how it lays and it more so concerns the um lip gloss tubes so this is pretty much what i'm doing i'm pretty much centering it y'all just make sure it's center as possible you see i laid it on there and i was able to pick it back up but pretty much that's how you do it then you roll it oh well i got that perfect with that now look how good that looks boom bam all right y'all so the next one we can do is the lip gloss tube um i don't know if you all want me to i guess it really doesn't make a difference because it's going to look like this so if you all see how it looks right here so let me grab a squeeze tube for you and i can show you how it looks on the squeeze tube and one thing I can say is when I go through and do my glosses, because y'all know I'm not messy when it comes to making my glosses or whatever, but I always kind of wipe it down with alcohol because y'all know it makes it dry and it gets rid of all the oils and everything. So with this one here, you all seen, you all wash my reels and everything. You seen that I pick it up by the corner and then I will grab it with the tweezer. Now, same thing as I did the other one, y'all. We're going to put the label on just like this. Not exactly sure how well you all can see that. But I'm going to come up all the way to the top as close as possible. Dang. This right here, you just want to make sure you get no air bubbles in it. Especially when you're coming around trying to do that. At that angle, I try to flatten it out. Boom. Y'all look how good they look. And you have your labels. And another thing I did want to say about that, as far as these here, the same way I did the other ones, you can add anything to the label. So if you want to put the ounces here, if you want to put um, hydrating lip gloss, or however you want to do your labels, you can do anything you want to do. But to me, y'all, I find it much easier to add the logo on here before you put the gloss in. That's all I'm saying. So just make sure it's clean. So if you fill up your tubes really messy and stuff, I don't advise that because you all see how I do mine. It's very clean, which is some of the times why I use a smaller syringe. But it's, it's up to you. So the next one we're going to do is the lip oil. And this lip oil here is mine, which it already has it on there. But we're going to just put one on the back here. I see we're going to peel it off like so. And I'm going to take it like that. Now with this one here, y'all, it's a little big. So I am going to take some scissors. And I'm just going to kind of clip that side. Clip that side. I 
don't know how I have it on here, but and we're gonna put it on this way. Y'all see I like pat it down in the front first and then I kind of roll it. That way it won't get no air bubbles. And there you have it. And there you have it, y'all. Look how good that looks. And you're probably seeing the label on the other side, of course, because it's a double. But yeah. But that was pretty much all that I have for you guys. That's exactly how I make my labels. It's really simple. Now, a lot of, like, everything that I did, which pretty much is my logo, is transparent as far as, like, on my, um... Actual ones you all notice that I have like a barcode at the bottom of it I don't know if you all can see it right there. You can see like right here. I have a barcode Now I did make that one transparent as well So if you all want to see a video on how I make everything transparent and How I made my actual logo and how you make logos just comment down below and I will do that video for you as well y'all I am loving my little business series that I'm doing for you all. I have a lot of these videos up, but I am just going to go through and update it for you all. And once again, everything is categorized on my channel as far as like my business vlogs, um, my business essential vlogs, my Amazon finds, um, my regular vlogs, DIY pro everything is categorized. So if you're looking to do something, just click on that category and kind of just scroll through and you will find what you're looking for. But I really hope that this video helped you all out. I hope I took my time. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but we're not gonna worry about that. If you're trying to learn something and you're trying to learn something, you cannot rush the process. I am excited to see you all make your labels. So if you all make your labels, you put it in your project, be sure to tag me on IG and I will put it on my story for you all because I'm just really excited to see who all are actually using this technique that I am using y'all. But like I said, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video.